Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into Basketball Wives. Let's go. First of all, this felt right to me. I was glad to see Shani. Shani's in town to receive an award. Um, she met Evelyn. This is Basketball Wives, right? And it's and we all trying to figure out how Shani's going to show up. I thought it was really good. So Shani comes in and she asks her, like, how's it been going? She Evelyn says she's had a rough couple of days and she brings up this lady, Vanessa. Vanessa, you might want to get it together because your days may be numbered. This is Evelyn's best friend, who happens to be the executive producer and the creator of this show. So Evelyn tells Shani how Vanessa's called her a homewrecker. And she's like, aren't you cool with her like she's like yes my son isn't gonna be with her for 10 days like she's like i don't know vanessa i know of her and then child they start talking about vanessa's hairstyle vanessa the bang yang you gonna have to figure something out with that because it it is not attractive so Jackie meets Vanessa out at the canyon because, you know, Vanessa's supposed to be helping Jackie with her fitness and her health and everything. So then Jackie asks her, like, how did you think, you know, the party went? She was like, actually, I wanted you to meet Evelyn. That's what I wanted you to do. And then she was like, well, um, when she said that Evelyn has a history of sleeping with married men, okay, okay, or whatever. But the thing is this, girl, that was 10 years ago. And Evelyn is cool with your friend. You just have come on here trying to make some beef and you wanted to make a scene. You have made a scene and you might be getting ready to see your way off of this show with your bangs. So Jennifer is talking to her boyfriend and she's giving him a recap of Evelyn's party. And she told him about Vanessa and Evelyn. She said she's big on protecting her energy. She also told him that she didn't speak to Jackie, right? And I think she feels a certain kind of way about that, but that's all really happening in this scene. So, Jessel and Brittany are together getting Starbucks, and they are recapping the party and everything. You know, they just want to know what each other think, and, um, and Jessel was talking about a situation she was having. Um, I like these two. I don't know them, so I'm excited to get to know who they are. Let's keep going. So, LeVon has called. Um, Evelyn said that they have spent the first seven weeks after they met, you know, they met on Queen's Court on a dating show. And she said they spent the first seven weeks together in Atlanta where he lives. And since then, he's come to California where she lives. She is saying that she is kind of stressed about people like, when is the wedding? When is this going to happen? And he was talking about that. But she feels crazy from her first wedding. Girl, LeVon is not that man. He is actually perfect for you. Now, you don't do this. I don't know what Evelyn going to do. You just over here talking and you you out here like Tamar. I didn't even want to be married. This is crazy. Girl, marry your man. So, Brooke and Evelyn meet and talk about the party. And they're saying how um, Jackie attracts a little crazy. And she does, right? But then they went on to talk about Brittany Renner. And Brittany eventually showed up. So, Evelyn feels like Brittany is kind of like her when she started coming up right um so they're discussing her brooke says that she's seen some of her hardships that she's gone through she saw how she started out like with fitness and then she started dating players so they're trying to change the narrative for britney that's what they're trying to do for her here they're trying to make her look more positive in a better light i hope that happens for her let's keep going this is Jody. This is Brittany's mother, and she is a big part of Brittany's support system, which is great because she said after um, she broke up with her ex, she just kind of didn't know where she was, and she needed help, I'm guessing, right? So her mother's talking to her, and she's asking her, does she think she'll date another athlete? And Brittany said that not somebody that's going to be in the DMs, but I feel like it might be a little hard for Brittany to date an athlete after she wrote a book about the athletes and the people that she slept with, people are going to be a little weary of her. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think she has something there. You know? So it's time for Shani's Award, um, the woman of excellence for her, the work that she does in the community. And she and Evelyn are talking. And Keon is there, and he has talked to Evelyn and LaVon. Shawnee loves LaVon. Keon likes LaVon. They think that he's perfect for Evelyn. 
Ellen lets her know that she has a lot of anxiety because she was a newlywed and a divorcee within a month, right? So Ellen never got a chance to really be married. So she says she has such anxiety and she's stressed out about it. Girl, this is not that. Shani is trying to really kind of be on her side and she was like, I understand what you're saying. That is kind of hard. But in the back of Shani's mind, I know she's saying, girl, this is the best man for you. This is the best man you've ever come in contact with. Don't mess this up. But I do understand Evelyn being a little nervous about it, right? I can't get that. I can honestly get that. But she said something about LaVon on FaceTime made her feel a certain kind of way. And she says she does want to get married, but she needs to take time. I think she does need to take the time, right? Um, she wants to be in L.A. LaVon lives in Atlanta. It seems like he may move to L.A., right? And then she did say that seven weeks was a long time to spend with somebody. It was a long time. But Ellen needs to work this out. So, Jackie is over here trying to mend the fences with Vanessa and Evelyn. And Jackie should know Evelyn well enough to know that there are no men and fences. And she told her, we can be cordial. If she wants to come and make up to me and it makes sense, we can do that. I'm an adult. But we're never going to be friends. So, Jackie, just let it go. Because we know that you want them to be friends. Because you want to be the matriarch. Chill out. This will never. Y'all, this is the moment I've been waiting on. Clayana has entered the building, right? So she's sitting down. She's talking to Jackie and Evelyn. She's introduced herself. And she sits down and talks to Evelyn and just gets into this whole thing about what she's trying to do, how she's trying to re redefine herself. Evelyn's like, yes, I like this, especially after a relationship. And she thinks that Clayana and Brittany will be good people to meet. Okay. So, Shani comes over to the table. Jackie is a fan. Ooh, look at that suit, girl. Get up for the first lady. Ooh, I'm not, I shouldn't be cursing. You slayed that speech, girl. Okay. So, the real boss is in town, and she has let Jackie and girls know that she's going to be here for a few days, and she wants to bring them together because she's got a little tea. Jackie feels a certain way because, you know, Jackie feels like she can bring the girls together. Jackie, the boss is here, okay? You just sit there like you've been doing. I know this is a problem for her. Let's keep going. So Vanessa's sister has come to visit her, right? And um, she, they're sitting there talking and she asks, how's Isaiah? He's back at home while she's in California. And she was like, they were talking on the phone. And he was at the gym in the friend section. And she saw somebody in the back. So she had somebody to stop the tape, take the sound out, zoom in. Girl, if you got to do all that, Really? And then her sister was like, is he partying without you? Because you know, they do things. She was like, I hope not. Girl, he is partying without you. You have other stuff to worry about than a 10-year beef that you have put together in your head. Let's keep going. But with her sister saying that she wants so much for them, for her children and her and her husband, and the most healthy relationship as possible, you can tell there's some things going on in here. Vanessa, I think you got some other stuff to worry about, ma'am. So, child, the call has gone out that the boss is in town. Everybody is FaceTiming everybody. Shawnee wants to meet the girls. This is Evelyn FaceTiming Jen. Um, Jackie seems a little shaken. She really does. They have called Jaseel. I think that's how you say her name. She's from Mississippi. Baby, the girls are gathering. Friends met with Jaseel, right? And, uh um, She's asking how she's adapting to being in L.A. And then they're talking about the get-together. And she wants to know what's going on with her and Jackie. And Jennifer tells her that her and Jackie talked in New York. But that was about The ladies have gathered. They did their pleasantries. They talked to Brittany about going out with Shaq. Shani's not worried. She got, said she got a whole husband. And she said she liked the way Brittany had come in on positivity. Vanessa's into the building. Let's get into it. Now, Vanessa is coming here backpedaling because she did mean to bring that up to Evelyn at Evelyn's party. She said that what she was here for. She might as well get it on out the way. But now that the boss is here, you want to be friends. So right before they had to take Evelyn out, right, Evelyn let her know that she needs to mind her business and she needs to get an esthetician and worry about what her husband is doing. And then Brooke got into it. Now, Vanessa tried to hold her on with Shawnee being there, but no. Brooke was like, did the girl ask you to say anything to Evelyn? She said no. And she was like, you the one got stuff going on in your marriage. You need to be working on your stuff. 
I can't wait, y'all.